This video is sponsored by TikTok. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. So as many of you already know, Garrus is one of the new additions in Mortal Kombat 11. He often describes himself as the servant of Kronika, protector of the keep, the tool of Kronika's will, among many other foolish nicknames that he uses throughout the game. As a fixed point in time. I, Garrus, am a fixed point in time. With every death and rebirth, I grow stronger. Garrus is pretty much immortal because even if you tried to kill him, no matter how many times you try, he would simply come back to life by rewinding time. But as you know, at the end of Mortal Kombat 11's story mode and just when Earthrealm forces led by Raiden were about to reach Kronika's keep, Garrus confronts the Thunder God but fails to defeat him in combat. Garrus then mockingly reiterates his inability to die, but Raiden definitely has other plans to stop his villainy once and for all. He binds him with heavy chains and anchor, knocking him into the sea of blood which is bottomless, meaning that Garrus will literally fall forever. Drowning cannot kill me, Raiden. That is unfortunate for you. The sea of blood is bottomless. You will fall forever. This punishment is definitely more torturous than being locked forever in the Netherrealm. In addition, you may or may not have noticed this, but Gears actually survived that painful fate, and it is evident in many of his intro dialogues where certain things that happened after his fall are actually mentioned. One clear example is when he confronts Kotal Khan and tells him about Kronika's defeat. Please take a listen. Your world spills out. Victory is delayed, not prevented. Kronika will not see another dawn. Now the main question is, how did Garrus survive the bottomless sea of blood? Well, Scorpion was wondering about exactly the same thing, and here's Garrus' answer. You escaped the sea of blood. I became food for a passing leviathan. That was the end of your luck. If you didn't know what a leviathan is, it is a word that originated in the Hebrew Bible meaning a very large sea animal. Now curiously enough, if you choose the sea of blood arena in the game and you look on the left side of the stage, this is what you see. This huge sea creature, the leviathan if you will, is the one that definitely swallowed Gears and pretty much saved his life. And this? This is how Gears survived the sea of blood. But there is more. I'm sure that the story sounded a bit familiar to you, especially if you are a follower of one of the Abrahamic faiths. I really do believe that Gareth's story is influenced by the Israelite prophet Jonah mentioned in the Hebrew Bible, who according to the account in the book of Jonah, resisted the divine call to preach repentance to the people of Neveh and decided to sail to another city instead. Consequently, God sent him a great fish that swallowed him, kept him in its belly for three long days, and then eventually vomited him by the beach at God's command. So what do you think of Gareth's survival story? Let me know in the comment section below. But before I let you go, you should learn about TikTok. It is an app that allows you to share your passion with everybody online. You can do that by sharing a crazy combo brutality that you pulled off in an online Mortal Kombat match, an impressive headshot from a far distance on PUBG, or simply a special moment that you would like everybody else to see. I personally executed this combo using my favorite character Scorpion which took me a while to learn actually, and uploaded it on TikTok. You can share your own awesome combos with me and everybody else by downloading TikTok through the link provided in the description below. So far I only have 12 followers so I'd like to give them a special shout out for the positive feedback they gave me. Thank you guys very very much, I really appreciate the support. As usual, for more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Gamelution.